God damn it, Sean. No, that was Ethan. That was you? That was me. It smells like milk in here. <laughs> oh, God. We're well, not we're not talking about that. No yes, we are. First of all, uh, uh, we were able to revive John successfully. Uh, oh, God, that quesarito was so good. Uh, we walked in the bathroom to find that he was passed out with a heart attack on the bathroom floor with bloody diarrhea in his underwear. Thankfully, they brought Chipotle away. Yeah, I brought that, and... And, uh... <laughs> kind of a recap of the situation. We got the defibrillator out and we were able to successfully, uh, you know, restart his heart. It took you two tries. You put them on the wrong sides to begin with. Well, he burned your nipples off too, but that's not a big deal. <laughs> it was a very aggressive toaster. Absolutely. <laughs> well, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Alonzo was actually... No, done don't you say it. Don't. He did don't not. Don't you he did say not. it. <laughs> he did not. What? He's done something magnificent. He's done something that's made you do it. He remembered I can, to flush the toilet. I am the yes. one driving this LP right now. I can stop it right now. Do you want us to fall down again, Michael? No. It, no. Smells like, it smells like milk in this room. Did you leave <laughs> a glass of milk somewhere in here, John? Uh, did I? Or was it that glass of invisible you said? No. <laughs> should, should we tell? Should yes. we enlighten tell, our, tell the story. We will enlighten oh. our fans. Tell it, 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 tell it. Yes, we are going to tell the story. Wow. So, uh... Well, f first off, um, we, le we left evidence that we had been in the room when Michael did not realize that we were in the room. Mikey was sleeping soundly in his bed, so I decided to take a picture. And then send it to him in a group chat. That, that's where the hijinks began. And he was con he was concerned as to how he got inside without a key, or how he got inside the building while he was asleep. So, uh, upon giving absolutely no explanation... No, no. Real explanation. No real explanation as to why. Uh, John, I'll go proceeds to tell him that he should be careful for the glass of milk he left in his room. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want to you wanna take over for a little oh, bit? Oh, boy. This, ga oh, this game was about... Uh, we're going to need to pause this conversation because it's going to be cutscene time. All right. Cut hold on one second. Cliffhanger. If you don't hurry up, there's not going to be any pizza left. <laughs> huh? There's not going to be any pizza left for you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Tron? Hurry up, get on board. It's time to activate Bruno. Mars. Holy shit. Good thing that none of these I'm totally answer. editing Bruno Mars' face. No, <laughs> no, no, you're not. You're not ruining this part of the game. But you won't stand a chance. No, nope. this don't. time. No. Nope. So, um, the first, 
after uh, Michael, Michael asks about the glass of milk, I tell him, and I confirm I hit a glass of milk in his room, his first response is, you're bullshitting me, right? Followed by, because I've looked everywhere and I don't see one. You told him to be careful or else you might hit it with his feet, did, did you not? Yes, yes. Keep in mind this is all a group chat, so Alonzo and I could see this as well. And I kept sending anime, an laughing anime faces. A couple of them were flipping you, uh, Michael off. Yeah. Uh, all, all eventually escalating up to the, to uh. Well, then you uh, you you said you accused me of putting silk in the room. Oh yeah, the silk, that that fake soy milk. I told him that it was the nasty shit. To be fair, so Alonzo I thought that we all said milk in the room too. He said, "What? You have milk in the room?" Mm-hmm. He was actually in on it. He was yeah. funny. He was in on it too. We all was. It escalated the Mikey getting a little pissed. A and little? Michael, can you give some input? How pissed were you? He started yelling at Chase, man. <laughs> he started crying. Can, can you recite the quote of the night? <laughs> Why don't you guys do it? Because I don't feel like talking about this. Okay, well, we'll, we'll end it here. But, um, oh, uh, cutscene. Coming oh. up in a little bit. Michael told our friend, what part of get the fuck out don't you understand? Okay, yeah, he can get that in. Bless you. She sounds like she's dying. Huh? When you inhale a bunch of smoke, do you feel like dying? No. Alright then. Stop I'm smoking then. When, when, when Ethan smokes his gummos. Okay, Blue Boy, I must know what you When you say it must, it kind of lose its... My name is it's, it's... Mega Man. Mega Man Volnut. Mega Man, is it? You know, I've been in this business a long time. But this is the first time anyone's ever given me this much trouble. Yet, it feels good somehow being beaten by you like this. Almost as though I've met my match. Diesel! I can face the facts. I lost you one. I'm gonna try to forget this entire incident. Ah, it feels good to say that. My heart feels as clean as the blue sky on a cloudless day. See you around, Mega Man. Wait! see him again? Tron. Once he finds the treasure, we'll wait for our chance and take it from him. What? You didn't think I was going to just walk away, did you? Oh, of course not. Now that's the Teasel I know. You bet it is. Old Teasel never gives up. I'll get that treasure sooner or later, one way or the other. Probably my favorite quote from all of that. From the from our. I, I told him he's wondering where the glass of milk was, <laughs> and I said to him at one point, "Check under the dryer." To which we don't have a dryer. Keep, keep it. Keep in mind he's in a dorm, a single dorm room, in which there is no washer or dryer. He he, he responds, "What? A glass of milk couldn't possibly fit under the dryer." <laughs> to which I had to face palm because the joke went right over his head. <laughs> Because you guys are dicks. <laughs> <We> are. <laughs> to be honest, you're being very gullible. Yeah, I mean, Michael, remember well, I told you, takes what? if I just stopped it right then, it would have been bad storytelling. <laughs> well, now it's a beautiful story that will be forever not butchered by your editing. And it'll be forever foretold in this video. Don't tempt me. <laughs> don't. No, that, I mean, that just kills it. So anyways, we came back in to give him a note telling him, Back you to Michaels. Yeah, <laughs> Back you to Chase Michaels. was holding that, yeah, that was Yeah, dude, that was in my, uh, my decision. We, we felt bad, so I bought him a chocolate bar. Uh, oh, Hershey's cookies. It. No, it's over there, actually, no. Yeah, I found it the next day. Oh, look look at his desk quick. You'll see something. Ooh. Sounds funny. Uh, it's not funny. We're going over to Michael's desk right now. Michael will start talking about the game now. Uh, <laughs> I like how that's a bad thing to you. Yeah, John, and now I stole John's spot. Oh, okay. <laughs> good 
good game, motherfucker. And yeah. there goes that <laughs> obviously. <Okay. laughs> I'm more comfortable with my sexuality than these guys. No, it's no, actually no. quite. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. I'm saying, John, is that, is that a boner I see? <laughs> yeah. It might be. John, it's rubbing up against the Lonzo. There's a difference between uh, knowing your sexuality and when everybody else questions your own. Also, <laughs> don't go waving your wiener on in public. Yeah, put that thing away. Stop waving it around. Ooh. Oh, damn. Damn, damn it, I'm yeah. wearing underwear. Oh, I'm hmm. not wearing underwear today. I'm not wearing underwear today. It's not that you care much about it's underwear. 11. Still, I got to say. Minutes. Oh, boy. But I'm not wearing underwear today. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done.